Hey guys, what's going on? EDC Blades here. Hope you're doing well. Uh, today I'm pretty excited to unbox a custom knife that I ordered. Um, but before I get to that, if you could help the channel out by hitting that like and subscribe button, uh, you know, I'd really appreciate it. Uh, so, anyway, I found uh, this custom tool maker uh, years ago, and I must have looked at his website a hundred times. Um, he's, he's got hundreds of knives that he's built over the years in his portfolio and uh, and you know he's built uh, custom knives for, for everyone from you know seals recon marine SF contractors law enforcement uh, you know the list goes on anyway the name of the company is uh, Atkinson wood and knife um, I'll put the uh, website in the uh, description below but uh, anyway we started talking uh, about a custom build. I told him, you know, my favorite five or six knives from his portfolio and kind of what I was looking for uh, more specifically. And, uh, you know, he, he sent me a rendering and right after that he got to work. Um, he is a one-man show, you know, plus he has a regular job as a, a uh, Viking lumberjack. Uh, if you check out his Facebook and Instagram, you'll see what I mean. Um, you know, his build time is right around three to four months, so keep that in mind if you are planning on ordering from him. Um, but, you know, I'll tell you in a couple minutes if that's worth the wait. Uh, he will be at Blade Show this year in Atlanta uh, in June, Table 4 DD. So, you know, go see him if you're there. Uh, his web website says prices range between 425 475 You know, I was kind of hoping for my first, uh, hey, you have a YouTube channel, you want it for free. Um, you know, that didn't happen, so I ended up paying 475, uh, 475 for mine, which again, I'll tell you in a couple whether I think it's worth it. Um, all right, let's get into this thing. So, it's a pretty cool little canvas bag. All right, so. Nice. A little note from Wes on the uh, holster or the sheath. All right, here we go. Oh man, this thing is pretty. Oh man, this thing. I tell you what. This, this is a piece of art right here, man. This is nice. It's, it's, it's beefy. It's not too heavy. You, you know, carrying this on your hip, probably be okay. It's, it's heavier than the Winklers, but it's, it's, man, this thing is, this is a pretty knife right here. See that it's Damascus steel, which is what I wanted. Etched EDC blades in there. I kind of forgot I asked him about that, but uh, very cool. His little uh, design there, Wes Atkinson. Man, this thing is nice.
All right, let's get into the uh, the pertinence here. Uh, overall length nine and a half inches. Blade length is five inches. Uh, crafted from three sixteenth inch random pattern four hundred sixteen layer Damascus uh, with a swept Tonto blade. Now I did tell him I wanted a Tonto. I I do love the shape of the Tonto blades. You know he suggested this. Uh, Swept, I'm assuming that's this uh, design here. Man, this thing is nice. All right, uh, where were we? All right, hand filed, chiseled stone thumb jimping. You see there. It is mean, man. This thing is, this thing is a beast. Um... Exposed chamfered striking pommel. The grips are roughed out OD uh, canvas micarta over royal blue liners, uh, secured with royal blue G10 pins and carbon fiber tubes. I don't know. They look more infantry blue than uh, royal blue, but hey, we'll take it. Um, and you know, uh, with this guy, um, you can order anything you want, you know, what kind of steel you want, uh, the blade shape, um, the handle material, length, you know, sheath, whatever you want. Uh, I got a, uh, Kydex, um, Kydex cross draw sheath. Basically it'll go on my front left hip and I'll be able to draw it, but it does look like I can, uh, alter these if I want to carry it in a different fashion. Nice and snug. Perfect. Man, this thing is really nice. Now, you know, 475 is a lot of money for a, a one knife, but man, if you can afford it, these things, this is a really nice knife. You know, uh, uh, it has a full tang, which is kind of, uh, you know, his claim to fame. Uh, not not the full tang, but that his his blades are uh, or his builds are are burly, dependable tools uh, that you could you know that you can rely on, uh, especially if your life depends on it. Uh, you know, whether that's um, having to survive in the wilderness, in combat, you know, in the streets, or you know, just if you need to slice open an MRE, you know, his builds are. Uh, his builds, you know, are, are impressive and, uh, you know, heirloom quality. This is a, a beastly little knife, man, or this is a beastly knife. Um, another facet of his uh, operation is that he gives all his builds um, Norse names. Uh, he gave mine Ulr, Ulr, A-L-L-R, which uh, he told me, means every or all which you know he found appropriate because of the uh, the channel name edc blades uh you know i like it and uh i will wear it with pride um definitely a, a very cool knife i'm excited about it you know he does all his builds are custom so you know he he will build you the same knife i guess but uh you know, he prefers to change everything up a little bit just so uh, there's no two like out there. So I found this guy through a group on Facebook. Um, it's kind of like a marketplace for contractors. Now, I don't generally talk about my uh, military and post-military careers because this isn't the Internet. And uh, anybody can claim whatever they want. And I, I don't like uh, having to defend myself or, or prove, you know, myself. I am a vet. I was in the Virginia Army National Guard, 29th Infantry Division. You know, I deployed to Iraq. I deployed to Afghanistan. Um, and then I did contracting for three years in Baghdad. Um, and contracting is, you know, where I really started getting into my, you know, into everyday carry. You know, at first I was, I would just use the equipment that they issued me. Um, then I started seeing all these really cool, cool looking guys carrying all sorts of different gear. And I thought, you know, that's that's some cool stuff. I want to carry stuff like that. Um, you know, so I traded in my uh, $10 Gerber Paraframe Mini, mini 
for my Benchmade Griptilian, um, my cheap knockoff sunglasses for some Oakley gas cans. Uh, I went and got a, a Maxpedition man purse, traded my army issue desert boots for Merrill Chameleons, you know, and on it went. Um, so, you know, the goal being to have the ultimate, the best everyday carry setup. You know, I'm excited to add this thing and, and try it out and carry it. It's, I'm excited for it. It's going to be amazing. Uh, so if you're looking for a custom knife build, you know, he does more than just knives. He's got, you know, axes, hatchets, uh, machetes, swords, whatever you're looking for, you know, he can, he can build it. And, uh, you know, I'm, I'm impressed and I'm excited about carrying this thing. Um, man, this thing is nice. All right. Um, I appreciate everybody's time. Thanks for joining me. As always, you know, help the channel out by hitting that like and subscribe button. You know, if you got any comments, any questions, go ahead and comment below. Um, you know, man. All right. Thanks for joining me. Have a great day, everyone.